receivers. This ought to be fun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, De- that's all. Devontae say, yes. Smith is yes. Okay. Now uh, we can say go. <laughs> Ke- Ke- Quez Watkins. But I see on the on the stream, um, Tone says, "Should I stay or should I go?" Har, that was a Clash tune back in the day. <laughs> yes, it, it was, was the Clash. <laughs> I think that was like early '80s. Yep, uh, yep. the Clash. Rock and a Cash Bar. That's that was a. I think that came a little bit later. I Anton that, Whitfield. That's what you're talking Whitfield, about. Whitfield. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All three of their there. safeties are really good. Really, really good. Yeah, yeah. But Whitfield, you, he'll be back. Do you know what I was jamming out to this morning at like 6 a.m.? Who's that? You're gonna laugh, and then and, and talking about the Clash made me think of it. Just music, you know. It's another commercial song, <laughs> Barrett. And it, once it gets in your head, it's hard to get rid of it. Now it's 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 by a rapper named OT Genesis. OT Genesis. He's a trap rapper. Never heard of him. From Atlanta, that now is a West Coast guy. OT Genesis. You know how he spells Genesis? Wow. G E N A S I S. G E N A. Not G E N E like the band. It's Genesis. Yeah. Yeah. You know What's the, the song? song called. I look real good today. <laughs> I look real good today. I look real good today. And you got the kid. Look, oh, you got dude, the kid riding the kid on the bicycle. Dude, he's rolling around the neighborhood. You know, he's. <laughs> no, like, he's like, I he's like, like a gangster. I, dude, I I don't know who sang that song, but I'm OT like OT Genesis, man. Yeah, it's a, only you would look that up. Man. Exactly right, jumping at the motherfucking Bentley, <laughs> rolling in the Casa New Balenci's, walking with a pocket full of Benjis, and now oh. I'm a ten piece. I look real good today, and then you got to go. Burr, burr. You got to put a couple of those in there. <laughs> Oh, it cracks me up. Who started doing that? Was that Cardi B doing the, burr, burr, you know, adding out the songs? Because I love it. I'm going to just start doing that during the show, like intermittently, just throwing a couple of those. Start making you laugh. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be able to go on the show, man. If I sit there talking about uh, TV 12 and yeah. all of a sudden you give me a, burr, burr, I don't know burr. what I'd do. <laughs> Dude, I, I should guest host uh, instead of bar can one, one uh, <laughs> right. Sunday and just start doing that to Ray and stuff. <laughs> like pointing at him. Be right. hilarious. Ray, Ray be looking at his nose all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, Did I man. get it? <laughs> now, uh, now, I got to ask you because this is, you know, I'm trying to learn here. Roly in the Casa New Balenci's. Is he talking about New Balance shoes? No. What the hell's New Balenci's mean? Balenciaga, that's a that's a brand. Oh, it is shoes. Yes, Balenciaga. Okay. Yes, that's a brand of shoes. I mean, the Roly in the Ca- is it? You talking about Rolex? There? The Rolex. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Roly in the Casi New Balenci's, walking yep. with the pocket full of Benjis. That's Ben yep. Franklin's, right? Yes, yes, yes. And then I'm a ten piece. He says. <laughs> I look he's real a dime, good. Right? Oh, he's a dime, right? <laughs> he's got a Rolex Balenciaga and he's riding on his bike. I think he's got like a Gucci sweatsuit on too. You know? Oh, <laughs> dude, he looks he looks fine, that kid, man. He's got the little helmet on and he's he's just right, cruising right. around like nodding his head like he's some badass. <laughs> from 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 like afternoon all the way until night. It gets right. dark on him. That's how long he's been riding around, man. Right, and the battery of the phone, the right. iPhone 13 is just still rolling. That's the whole thing. It's just so funny, man. I never knew who sang the song or anything, bro. You just made. I gotta watch it now, man. I gotta. I gotta listen oh, yeah. to the song. What's? Give me that again. What's his name again? It's O T Genesis. G E N A S I S. Yeah. Put uh, bankroll. Got it. I look real good today. That's so funny. And Aton hates that song. Like, oh, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send him the video just to piss him off because he hates it. <laughs> right. I actually text back on that chain, that that chain. Yeah, because I saw the commercial. I'm like, oh, that, I like this. I like yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> he hates it. <laughs> and he, he, what, I knew you would like this trash. Yeah, he's out on that. <laughs> this trash. I can't support this trash. He says. Marion Johnson says, "I'm coming to the barbecues singing." <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> oh man. All right, we got to get into the stare go. Oh man. Oh man. I mean, just get it back to the Eagles. Right. <laughs> All right, where do I have it here? Damn it. All right, here it is. All right, we start with obviously the quarterback. This is easy though, right? Jalen Hurts is a stay. Right. That's a stay. All right. Reed Sinnott. Go. Who cares about him? Right. Right? I'm, I'm Gardner Minshew. Stay or go? He's got to stay. You think so? What if, what if somebody comes to Howie and says they want him? I'm thinking maybe go and you get a nice draft pick for him. That's a great possibility. I could see that happening too. Yeah. Uh, There's going to be somebody that's going to want his services. Um, maybe Bruce, I, I believe maybe he pulls Bruce Arians. Yeah. Maybe Bruce Arians wants him. He'll he'll pull a deal off with that. He'll he'll make he'll yeah. So I'm I'm gonna say go. Also. So we'll say go then, right? Yep. All yep. right, all right. Then let's go to uh, running backs. Kenneth Gainwell stay. Yeah. Uh, I I wished I would have seen a little bit more. I'm hoping that uh, he gets expanded usage this next year. Right. Jordan Howard. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to say go. Probably go right. I mean, shit, they didn't even start the season with him on the roster. They had him on the practice squad, yep. which I couldn't understand. If he's going to be part of the team, you know, he could have helped you. Yep. Yeah, you know, it took him how many weeks until they started putting him in there? All right, well, we'll go go. Miles Sanders is a stay, right? Stay, yep. All right. Who else we got? Oh, Boston Jason Scott. Jason Huntley. He's going to go. You think? Yeah, he'll go. But he he could be a, a return guy for you too. Yeah, and, but he's getting up there where they're going to have to you know compensate him a little bit, and they're not going to compensate him at all. So you say go on Huntley? Yep. Um, this is going to shock you too, Boston Scott. Go. You say go. Dump truck is out. Yeah, dump truck is out. Well, what, I mean, if if you get rid of dump truck, don't you keep Huntley then? Because you can make you you could get him cheaper. Did they give up a? Did they give up anything to get him from Detroit? Yeah, they did. They traded him for him. That's what I'm saying. So they I traded don't know what something. They got for him. I don't know that they just cut him. You're saying go on Scott, boss. All right, we got him out of there. Now Jeff McLean says he's a stay. He's a restricted free agent. The Eagles are likely to tender an offer to the ever reliable Scott. That's just his opinion, but. Um, he agrees with us on Jordan Howard, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, his tough running helped turn the season around. The Eagles need a north to south guy, but injuries were again an issue. Yep. Um, Jeff says go on Huntley, too. So you want me to put go? Yep. All right, we're out. Wow. I hate to do it. Receivers. This ought to be fun. All right. <laughs> yes. Dev- that's all Devontae we're say. Yes. Smith is yes. Okay. Now uh, we can say go. <laughs> Ke- Ke- Kez- Quez Watkins. Uh no, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say stay. All right. I'm good with that. Jalen Ray Gore. Go. Go. Be done. The guess here is that he returns. Well, he will return. See cap hit, but is eventually phased out for both sides' sake. A divorce might be best, says yep. Jeff McLean. Yep. Hmm. All right. I love that phased out. That's sort of like when the program director or the schedule maker just no longer starts putting you on the schedule. Right, right. Like they don't tell you that you're out, but they just stop scheduling you. That's and what they- happened to me at WIP. <laughs> That's well, exactly what happened. When was that? Like, what year was that? That was that was been phased. They phased me out like two years ago. Oh, okay. Because I'm thinking, because you know, uh, the Mountain Troll used to make up the schedule for a couple of years there. And oh, he's, did he? he was notorious for that. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, we, this guy's out. You know, I'm just going to stop scheduling him for Saturday nights from two to six in the morning. He's done. Hey, and, hey, 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 what, what do you think about Brooksy? Yeah, I'm, I'm phased him out. He's out of here. Yeah, he doesn't know it yet. I hate to do it to him. Right. I hate to do it to him. <laughs> uh, all right, so we'll phase out Ray Gore. Greg Ward. Out. Probably a go, right? Yeah, he's gone. Um, 
If he fills the Arcega Whiteside role, bring him back. But with the wide receiver room now Smith's, his veteran voice isn't as needed, says nope. McLean. Nope. All right. John Hightower. I don't know what he can do. I know. Is he, wasn't he on the practice squad most of the year? Yep. He started out his rookie year playing a little bit. Yeah. Didn't they, they drafted him out of – Was is he the guy out of Boise? Yep. He's from Boise. Yeah. He, they drafted him ahead of uh, – Quez. Of Quez. Yeah. And I kept telling people, Quez is better. Quez is better. And then all of a sudden, they started playing a high time. I'm like, what is going on? Quez mm. is better than he is. And then this year, he didn't play at all. I don't even, I think he was only up for like one or two games. And I tell you, if you're <clears throat> a draft pick on this team and you can't get a sniff at wide receiver, <laughs> with I mean, seriously, because obviously the one guy is there only because of where he was drafted. Right. Same with exactly. the, the other guy in uh, – Ortega Whiteside and you know his blocking ability on special teams. But bottom line, if he wasn't a second round pick, he probably would have been gone already. But you can't beat these guys out. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Go. He's out. Um it's amazing to recall that Doug Peterson once hailed Hightower as the Eagles' big play threat. He just doesn't have it. Go. I- See, I told you that. Yeah. All right. Arthega Whiteside. I can't believe you even asked me that. Well, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> He's out. Yeah. Well, he go would on. be for me, too. Um, so we're going to put go. But I will tell you that the writer says most of his second round salary is paid. If there isn't a better fifth receiver special team option out there, sure, why not? <laughs> I've had enough. Well, I've, I've seen enough. I've I don't seen need enough. any more umbrellas. And look, 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 the stream says it too, man. The stream yeah. is spoken. The stream is spoken. Umbrella boy. Yeah. <laughs> Jay Jaw can go to look. hell says marion johnson <laughs> oh my goodness that's a little strong right right well, look look even worse than that man even worse than that um uh, uh, let me see where is it at muhammad Bob Malik. Whitehead. oh go ahead he's, he's, what do you say I'm, I'm looking for it uh do, 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 do. bob whitehead said rager to safety you're right that's what yeah. i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Malik says Rager should handle the Eagles' social media account. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, you know, we have six wide receivers there, and we just said goodbye to four of them. <laughs> <laughs> just blowing the room up, bro. Oh, just blowing the room up. Oh, man. All right. Now let's go. Uh, what else we got here? Dean. Oh, Dion Kane. Who the hell's that? He's a wide receiver, apparently, too. Deion Kane. Deion uh, Kane. I hate to do it. What? To you. Yeah, I hate to do it to you. In fact, when you look at um, our lads, he's not even on it anymore. <laughs> oh, he's not on the uh, the depth chart. No, no. Oh my. No, he's not even on that. All right. Tight ends. Tyree Jackson. Of course, what he tears ACL. Yeah, he's a stay. Yeah. I I got to be honest though, man. I was kind of fired up about him in camp like some, a lot of people were. Me too. And then I saw him actually play, and it, he's not very graceful. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> kind of awkward. Like <laughs> kind of awkward. Yeah. In the kind mobility. Yeah. yeah. I was taken aback by that. I wasn't expecting that. Well, you know, it, it takes a while to learn um, how to be a certain mm-hmm. type of football player. Right. That's why I'm so impressed with Jordan Malata and where he's at right now. Oh yeah, that's. But you've asked a quarterback to really change the position and become a, a you know a uh, a tight end and, and it, run you know, routes and stuff. Yeah, it's just a different way of you know having your body function. You just, mm-hmm. just dropping back vertical. Right. You, you go anywhere vertical when you're playing tight end, you're gonna get crushed. You know what I'm saying? You got to come from playing an upright position. To mm-hmm. always being bent in your power angles and your power positions. When you're even when you're running routes, you're you're down in your power position, so you can you know be cutting explosive. in and out of breaks and stuff. Yeah, and, so you yeah. got to be down. You can't really be up upright, and that's a whole different way of thinking. Your mindset is altogether different when you're playing um, using those, those type of power angles. Yeah. All right. So he's a stay. 
Richard Rogers. He's out. Gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's he, he's played here a long time, and he's collected money. He's been stealing for a long time, and that's yeah. what he'll he'll tell you too. Yeah, I've been stealing for a long time. Right, right. You know, it's time to finally just hang it up. Well, Jeff says to his credit, he keeps finding his way back. Yep. <laughs> but this upcoming season could end that trend until they need him again. So basically, he's saying the same thing you're saying. <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh my God! All right, here we go with. Um, uh, oh, Jason Kroom. Remember him? Oh, the tight end. Yeah. He called what, one pass for one touchdown two years ago. They like yeah. him, though. They really they like do. him. But I think he's gone. He's gone. All right. Uh, Goddard's obviously a stay. Uh, Jack Stoll. Stay. Jack Stoll. What, was he? Was he Nebraska? Yep, yeah. Nebraska tight end. Right, he fought his way onto this roster and 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 made some things happen. They like him a lot too. Okay, we'll say stay. Like him now we got another one here. Noah Togai. He got a little sniff at the end of the year. I remember him being on the field. Had a great camp. Also, was, it, was He's that pretty maybe, good? Was They're it that game him. against Dallas? Probably. Yep. <clears throat> yep. He, With, he was on the. Um, he was on the. Um, Practice squad all the time. With t- uh, Jackson uncertain, there could be a spot on the 53 man. There's a good chance he's here through the summer. But he says go. Now you say stay? I'm saying stay. All right. He'll stay. Man, that's a lot of tight ends, bro. Because we don't have any receivers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. It's like our man Lomba, who will make an appearance on today's show. All right. He, he used to say, Fair point. Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> Good point. It's a fair point. Yeah. I I loved it. Uh people are sending me tweets. Hey, Lombo got called out by the new coach of the Giants. <laughs> so I grabbed it. We're gonna have to play the audio. It's pretty funny. Um, um Luke Jariga, a center. We're on to the offensive line now. Luke nope. Jariga. They'll keep him. I never heard of him. Me neither. They'll keep him? Okay. Yeah, I think they'll he'll be in a practice squad. He'll be a body, a camp body. Okay, Sayamalu, that's a stay, right? Yep, definitely stay. Jason Kelsey, we want him to stay. We want him to, but he, for some reason they have him lit up that he's a um, free agent. I think he has one more year left on his contract, if I'm not well, mistaken. Uh, it's unlikely even Kelsey knows right now if he'll retire, but the best guess is here that he rolls it back for a 12th season. Yeah, we want him yep. to stay. We need him to stay. Uh, Jack Driscoll. He stays. Brett Toth. They're old Tothy. I think he's gone. He says, when everyone's healthy, Toth is not a top nine guy. January knee surgery could further impede his path back to the roster. Yeah, he's out of here. Goal. Lane Johnson, stay. Stay. Um, Nate Herbig. Stay. Let's see. Yep. Jordan Malata is obvious, and Landon Dickerson is obvious. All right, so we got, what, three, five, six, seven, eight thus far. And they usually keep nine, right? Oh, your boy Coyote Awosika. He's staying, baby. He's staying? Yes. All right, well, then the next two guys got to go, right? Who's that? LaRaven Clark and Jack Anderson. I think they keep LaRaven Clark. They keep LaRaven Clark also. They keep him? Yeah, they're going to keep him. They keep an extra. In fact, they keep actually keep an extra two offensive linemen during uh, that 90, uh, the 90-man 90 roster. So they put, what, how many, 11 guys then? 11 linemen? Yep. Okay. Well, then what about... Sua Opeta. They're going to keep him. They like him. And Andre Dillard, they're going to keep, right? Yep. And then Jack Anderson would be, would be a go, though, right? He's a go, yes. He was poached from the Bills practice squad. He could be a dark horse candidate to either replace Kelsey or be his backup. McLean says he stays. I don't think he stays. Anderson. Nope. 
All right. Well, how many linemen are we keeping here? Two. They keep 12. Four. They... There's seven. There's nine. There's 12. We've already kept 12. Yep. So Anderson's out. Yep. All right. I didn't know they'd keep that many, but I guess uh, they stash like two or three on the practice squad. Well, a bunch of those players, they, like um, um, when you look, Raven Clark will be on the practice squad. Mm-hmm. Um, they'll also put Sue Opeta back on the practice squad. I just kind of like that name, Sua. <laughs> Sue Opeta. Right. <laughs> a boy named Sua. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll continue this on the other side. And we got to play the uh, the video of Lombo getting called out by head coach Dayball. And we still have the Golden Corral video that we have to play. Well, I, well. I got I got I'm gonna listen to this. Uh, I'm gonna listen to this uh, OT Genesis while OT we're Genesis. Yeah, yeah. I look <laughs> real good today. You like that, huh? We'll yeah, be back man. in three. Barrett's jamming out to OT Genesis. Gotta love that. Hour number two of the middle. And you see this on Twitter, Barrett. Um, the NBC station in New York, NBC4, uh, put out on Twitter, breaking. Tom Brady, who lost two Super Bowls to the Giants during no. his legendary 22-year NFL career, retires. See his full message here. <laughs> wow. Wow. How negative can you spin Jesus. that? Jesus. Yes. Wow. Well, I guess they can do that because they never lost to him. Like the <laughs> Eagles beat him, but the Eagles also lost to him. Right. You right. Know? So, especially since that one year, 2007, was the all time year. Right. And that's it was. where they probably had their best team ever. And that's when Brady threw the 50 touchdown passes and Randy Moss caught 23. I mean, they were just electric on offense and didn't win it. Almost unstoppable, and they got stopped. Yeah, could have been 19-0, and but they weren't. That was crazy. Or 18-0 and would have been, yep. I guess, right? Because he only played 16 regular season games. So 17, 18. No, it would have been 19. 19 0, yeah. Yeah, because they would have had to buy two playoff games and you're in the Super Bowl and then 19. It would have been 19. Wow. And 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 is that is that the sole reason why you put um uh, Eli Eli into the Hall of Fame? Well, that in his last name, I guess. <laughs> right. You know, I mean, if you look at his numbers, um, you know, the be- big benefit for him is he played like he didn't miss games right 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 right. um and that you know that that counts for something um let me see he he, you know his record as a quarterback eli 117 and 117 what he lost as many games as he won (laughs) and his completion percentage for his career is only 60.3 it can't be he can't be. Come I'll tell on, you. Man. Now he's got fifty-seven thousand yards. I mean, he you know he was over four thousand yards. He never eclipsed five thousand, but he was over four thousand yards. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. He's he's the he's the in his career. He's the contrary argument to Dan Marino. Dan Marino. Yeah. Never won a Super Bowl, but this dude has two, and he he lost as many games as he won. Yeah, and he threw 244 interceptions. He led the league three times with interceptions. Yeah, <laughs> that ain't good. Wow, I never knew I never knew some of this stuff. But yeah, I mean, if he gets in, it's because he's got two, and his last name right. Manning. You know, I'd probably say no. All right, let's get back to this. Now, did you watch the video? Yes, I did. Bro, um, I look real good today. Now, yeah. was it the video of the kid on the bike, or was it the real music video? The real music video. Okay. Yeah. And his voice doesn't look anything like who he is. No, I agree. <laughs> Nothing like no. It doesn't even look. When I see that, when I hear that song, it's like I see the kid riding a bike. Yeah, is the yeah. Voice. I'm thinking of a Latino guy or Me something. Too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude's yeah. Luck, you know, 
he almost looked like he's African, bro. Yeah, he, he sounds does. like that, though. I'm like, what is? I look real how good is he talking today. Like, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. But it it's looks great. nothing like it. No, no, you know, nothing. Yeah. All right. Uh, special teams. Jake Elliott obviously a stay. He's darn good. Now, Aaron Sipos, Sipos, got off to a great start, and then kind of fizzled. No, he sucked. Yeah. Well, he says he was relatively sound in the early going, but he petered down the stretch. Yes. And was a near disaster at the end. Absolutely. Go. We can find another Australian punter. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, Rick, exactly. Rick Lovato, the long snapper. You got to keep him, right? Yes. All these long yeah. snappers all stay like 12 years and stuff. Once you find something, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. Um, all right, defensive line. Cameron Malvo, defensive end. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Who? <laughs> Cameron Malvo. I'm M A L V E A U X. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. Yeah, he's gone. Gone. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta leave, but you gotta get the F out of here. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, Brandon Graham, stay. Stay. Raquan Williams, um, defensive tackle. I don't remember him. I could part ways with him. Yes, he's going. I don't right? remember him. Yep. Yeah. Um, isn't that funny how, you know, we, we cover this team, we watch this team all season long, and there's some of these guys who never heard of Right, him. exactly. <laughs> Matt Leo, defensive end. Wow. Uh, he goes. Yeah. I remember him. He, he yeah. He's one of those try-hard guys. Yeah. He's not, you know, he's like a Joe, what's his name? Joe something, whatever his name was. Marvin Wilson, defensive uh, tackle. He goes. Now he says, McLean says he was claimed off waivers from the Browns. He's a developmental prospect who could need time to develop. No time for that. No, t- you ain't got no time for that. No. All right. Teron Jackson. Yes. Uh, that was the Coastal Carolina kid. Yeah, we'll keep him. 75. Yeah. Right. All right, let's go stay. Um, Ryan Kerrigan, come on down. Gone. 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 Let's see what he <laughs> says about him. The veteran shined in the playoff loss, but he was often a no-show in the regular season. Playing out of position didn't help. Go. Wait a minute. How is he playing out of position? I don't know. That's what he. That's what he has here. No, he was not playing out. But he plays defensive end. He comes in on pass downs. Mm-hmm. I hate to do it to him, <laughs> but that's not playing out of position. <laughs> that is not playing out of position. He played the position he plays and just sucked at it. Fletcher Cox. I think it's a stay because of the contract, right? Yeah, stay. Yeah. Um, he's still when he wants to be one of the best defensive tackles. His contract and other likely departures also make it hard to move him. I love how he put there when he wants to be. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then he lets us know when that is, when he makes a play in the backfield, you know, doing the dog crawl or whatever the hell that no, is. What, is, what is it? That's the, hunting the sniper season. crawl yeah, or the, sniper the crawl, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Milton Williams. I love Milton Williams. Stay. Stay. Let's see what he says about him. It was a slog in the early going, but the light bulb started to go off in the second half. He hasn't come close to hitting his ceiling. That's good. Yeah. All right. Josh Sweat is obviously a stay, right? Yep. He's signed. Um, Marlon Tuapolotu. Now, he was, a, he was a scratch. USC. Every game, I think, except maybe gone. week 18. Yes, gone. Yeah. He'd have to be a go. Yeah. He, even though he's a draft pick. He's out of there. <clears throat> uh, maybe he grows into a, a run-defending nose tackle, but the early film wasn't promising. Right. On Tua Pelotu. Derek Barnett. Gone. Oh, the Derek Barnett era is over. Is he was so? Now, he says he wasn't a bust per se, but he fell short of expectations. Despite his limitations, the free agent should get paid more than the Eagles are willing to spend. He you've will. Been, you've been saying that he will. He's gonna get. He's gonna get. You know, some big money out in the free free market. 
Isn't that uh, he'll probably go somewhere and be he'd be dominant also. <laughs> You uh, watch, he, he posts double digit sacks his first year with a whomever team. Sacks, you know, yeah, 12, 12 sacks, sacks. You know, out the gate. You know what I mean? He'll be that guy. And, and, you know, and it's funny because, you know, my draft classmate, you know, Mike Mamula, he got ran through the dirt. And he, he, he actually etched out a, a pretty good career here in, here in um, Philly. You know, he retired here in Philly. You know, he had some double digit sack years, you know, more than not. Right. But, he, never, you know, he never played anywhere else, did he? No. Yeah. Uh, but you know, he 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 did fairly well. Fairly right. well, but he got crushed. No, oh, he all did. The time. Yeah. And that's because of sap, though, that he got crushed. Right, right. Which isn't fair. And the sap thing was all about the, the marijuana, right? But he messed our draft up, bro. Right. He messed it up, man. Javon Hargrave. Stay. Yeah. Uh, Hargrave was the Eagles' most consistent pass rush presence and is a lock to return. Yep. Hassan Ridgeway. Uh, I think he goes this year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he stuck around and, you know, when, when given an opportunity, when he wasn't hurt, he was hurt a lot this year. Mm-hmm. He played well, but I think he goes this year. All right. Uh, McLean says he flashed at times, which was fine for a fourth defensive tackle but there should be opportunities to upgrade. So he says go to. Hmm. All right, so how many are we keeping? We're keeping one, two, three, four, um, five. We're only keeping – oh, no, six. Six defensive yep. linemen. Yep. You're gonna, we're going to carry eight, so they're going to get somebody else. Okay. They'll get somebody else. Well, yeah, in the draft, we're, we're right. thinking in the draft they'll, they'll get an edge rusher. Yep. At the very least, and maybe probably somewhere further down the draft. All right, linebackers. Here we go. Your favorite position on the defense. Gone. Everybody gone. <laughs> everybody's gone. Everybody's out. Yeah, everybody's out. Er- everybody's out. Everybody. <laughs> gone. All right, Jacoby Stevens out. Um, no, they're going to keep him. They are? Yeah, they'll go keep Jacoby Stevens cuz he's that hybrid guy that they like. He's a draft pick also. Um he plays safety and uh and uh remind linebacker. me where where did he come from? LSU. Oh, okay. The Eagles took a gamble on the former safety. It was just one game, but he looked completely lost in the finale. He yep. says go. They'll keep him though. You He's say a draft stay. pick, man. Yeah. Yep. He's All right, we'll say pick. stay. Patrick Johnson. I think he stays also. He's also a hybrid guy. He can he's a, he's a defensive end slash linebacker. Mm-hmm. Number forty eight. Like him. Yep. All right. Alex Singleton. They're gonna keep him. You think so? Yes. Because they're not gonna. They're not he's gonna a, avoid anybody. He's a restricted free agent. Yep. So he's likely back at low cost, but the Eagles need backers who can cover in space. Yep. And he says go, but you're saying stay. They're gonna keep him. They're. All right. they, um, Sean Bradley from Temple. Keep. Special teams mostly, right? Yep. Uh, a special teams extraordinaire and reserve. He's carved out a role. Stay. Yep. Christian Ellis. I don't know about him. Me neither. Go? Yes, yeah, go. Davion Taylor, the draft pick from a few years ago in the third round. Stay. He's probably a stay, right? He'll be good, too. He's, he's going to be okay. Taylor took strides, but it was trial by fire. He's likely to be tabbed a starter, but the Eagles need to be ready in case he struggles. Yep. Stay. All right. TJ Edwards. Stay. All right. Let's see what he says. This His promotion to the number one spot helped improve the defense. That's when they jettisoned Wilson, right? Yep, he left, and then uh, he started uh, against Detroit, I think, and that's when he turned things around, played the linebacker uh, position the way it's supposed to be played. Even uh-huh. though he lacks the game-breaking speed, he still functional. his functional speed is, is, is really good. He can go out there and make plays. Um, his promotion to the number one spot helped improve the defense. He signed through 2022 but the position still needs addressing, but he stays. Jannard Avery. 
it goes. Yeah. And he was a, a trade acquisition years ago from Fourth Cleveland. Fourth rounder. Yeah. Fourth rounder. He handled strong side responsibilities, but often looked out of place. Yep. He's a he's free a agent. He's a free agent. Yeah, he's not a linebacker. He's he's a he's a defensive end. And they try to play him like a linebacker. Like he would be he would be good in somewhere that ran a three four. Like okay. go somewhere, yeah, go somewhere like like a Tampa. Like, no, act, yep, Tampa or yeah, because he he's a Shaq Barrett. Right. Well, that's what they want him to be. Or he yeah. could go somewhere uh, like the Chargers. You okay. Know, that type of system. All right. Joe. He couldn't go, uh, go ahead. He couldn't, he couldn't go to like Pittsburgh because Pittsburgh, he'd be asked to be a linebacker too. He would have to cover and all those type of things. Mm-hmm. He couldn't go there. But if they, you know, in a system like the Chargers, he could work with them. He could work down there in Tampa. Joe Ostman, linebacker. Go. He's gone. Yeah, he's, he's gone. Not a linebacker. He's a he's a straight defensive end. They try to make him a linebacker. He's gone. They tried him out at linebacker, but he suffered another season-ending injury, and he's likely run out of bullets. Go. <laughs> I like these descriptions are great. Yeah, they are. All right, we kept one, two, three, six linebackers. Yep, that's about that's about right. All right, now you think they should draft one though, too, though, right? No, I think they should draft six. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right. Defensive backs. Um, Andre Chachery. Gone. He's a safety. Gone. We didn't even know who he was. Well, right. He played in that week 18 game, and I think I saw him some in one or two other games. But he found a niche on special teams, but he doesn't look like a third safety. Will likely be a bubble roster guy. But you're saying go. Go on. All right. Steven Nelson. Stay. One year deal is up. Performed well enough to get interest. So I think Jeff is saying that the Eagles would not be willing to pay what he's going to get somewhere else. He says go. You say stay. Yeah, only because, you know, they, they gave him a solid, you know, paid him that bonus mm-hmm. at the end of the year to to kind of lure him and say, all right, you know, we may not be able to make – uh, the big payment that you're going to get paid out, but you know you'll get some loyalty here. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think he'll re- respect that and stay around. All right, we'll put stay. stay. Darius Slay is a stay. Stay. Okay, let's see what he says about him. Arguably the best Eagles defender and one of the NFL's best corners. His yep. cap number jumps up, so there may be a restructure. Um, Marcus Epps. Safety. Stay. Yep. Um, he, he played a lot. Um, in fact, he took the position from Kayvon Wallace and okay. ran with him. Rodney McLeod. I think he's gone. He turns 32 and is unrestricted. Um, He has stay, but you think he's gone. Yeah, he's going to be gone. All right. Zach Mc, Zach McPherson's a stay, right? He's, He's a stayed. draft pick. Yep. Um, came kind of came on a little bit towards the end of the year. Yep. Um, let's go to Anthony Harris. Gone. Okay. Avante Maddox is a stay, right? Yep. Uh, the slot is where he belongs, and he put his stamp on it and got an extension. Was it too much? Time will tell. That's right. They extended him during the season. Yep. Him and his boy. Him and his yeah. roommate. Goddard. Yep. And then uh, Sweat as well, too, during yep. the season, right? Yep. Craig James. Gone. Yeah. He, he was a special teams guy. They, he always seems to find his way back on the squad, though. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Those guys like that. That whole special teams, man, I tell you, that it's it's something that, is de-emphasized, I shouldn't say de-emphasized, but not emphasized in college at most programs. They just sort of put guys out there because they know they have to put guys out there. Exactly. But they don't really uh, – it's something I think more college players that play it should take seriously because it's a way to keep your ass in a league. Bro, special teams will have you playing your entire career there, but you'll keep collecting a check. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You keep mm-hmm. collecting the check, and you keep on playing. You'll keep on getting paid, and you'll stay on a roster. That's why long snappers and stuff like that, those guys stay on the team for a long time. That's why uh, 
that's basically also why Singleton is going to be stay on this team. Singleton will always be able to go to special teams and be that guy in special teams. So mm-hmm. he'll always have a spot on the roster. Not necessarily what he does on the defense, but what he does on special teams. All right. So, yeah, we kept Singleton. I just want to make sure. Yep. Um, yep. All right. Let's go. Josiah Scott, cornerback. Uh, I think he goes. I mean, they he traded goes. for him, too. But I still think he goes. He didn't do anything in the game when he got the opportunity. Was he the guy that came from Arizona? No, he came from no. Jacksonville. Okay. Tay Gowan is the guy that came Tay from Gowan, Arizona. Tay Gowan, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. They a, like him, though. A break in case of emergency slot. He helped out on special teams and has a little something, something says McLean about Josiah Scott. But we say go. Mm-hmm. All right. Kerry Vincent Jr. I don't Not know to be confused is. with Kerry Vincent Sr. <laughs> he was inactive for most of the season. He says stay. He got him from Detroit. They got him from Detroit. Oh, is that right? Yeah, they like him. Huh. Stay. I, I don't know why. They like I think, yeah, I think he stays. Tay Gowan. You say they like him. Tay Gowan, that's the guy that got that's the guy you're talking about from Arizona. From Arizona in the Earths trade. Yeah. Yeah. They like him also. All right, we'll make we'll put him as a stay. That's it. No, there's more. Oh, is it? Wait, there's more. Um, <laughs> Mac McCain. Well, you 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 want to you want to get get over this? No, 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 no. I, I I'm trying was... to stretch this bit out. <laughs> <laughs> this no, one. I thought I thought that actually I thought that that was, that was all the DBs they had. No, I mean, there's who there's is three he? more. There's three more. Who is he? Yeah. <laughs> this is one of those like uh, radio bits where in the off season, you know, where you're trying to stretch. Yeah, yeah. yeah six foot oh. <laughs> a little more. A little more. Just get it to break. Um, <laughs> Mac McCain. Now he uh, was he was on the inactive list most of the season, mm. or quite a few times. He goes. Nick Sirianni singled out his special teams performance in the finale. Yeah, he'll stick for a while, but the fifty three is probably a reach. Well, he said once you said how he's naming it. This kid will be here. <laughs> no, Sirianni. Sirianni, oh, Sirianni. Sirianni oh. said that. Yeah. I can't put any faith on that. I think he's we go, out. go. All right. Yeah, he's out. Jared Maiden. Not Iron Maiden. Jared <laughs> Maiden. The name alone, huh? Exactly. <laughs> Spelled differently, but. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't yeah, know anything about him. We got nothing for him. Right. Kayvon Wallace. Stay. Okay. Draft Former pick. fourth rounder. Yep. Yeah. He's the he's the third safety. He's the rotational third, fourth. You know, depends on what side of the bed they wake up on. Whether it's going to be Kayvon Wallace or it's going to be Marcus Epps, one of the two. But they got to keep both of them because I think they're going to leave. They're going to let. Uh, I know they're going to let Anthony Harris walk. Ryan McLeod, if he gives them a hometown discount, and I, I doubt seriously if he's going to do it. So that's the only reason why I say he walks. Mm-hmm. But you know, will McLeod give him a hometown discount? I don't know. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I say that he might be gone. So that's tough, uh, man. That's tough. I mean, uh, it does has he done enough? Yes. Has he done enough to garner that? Yes. But anytime you let Malcolm Jenkins go, right, that just puts things in perspective. Malcolm right. had a great year this year, also. Now let's just look at this. Um, 86.7% said that Jalen Hurts should stay. Okay. We, we did too. But that means yep. 13.3 said go. Yeah. <laughs> um, everybody's in agreement pretty much with Reed Sinnott. Now, the Minshew situation. We said go only because of how he's wheeling and dealing. Yes. And to be able to get a better draft pick than what you gave up for him kind Six. of scenario. Yep. But 91.1% say stay. I think it's going to go because he wants to start somewhere also. But I just right. think he wills and deals and trades him, and that's why he won't be here. Gainwell, we were in 97.4 stay. The Jordan Howard thing is kind of interesting. 62% say stay. We said go. Yeah, because he, he didn't start playing until halfway through the year. Mm-hmm. Week what was it week week nine when he we came up on the scene when they activated uh, it, him yeah I think it was about that about then but then he he missed 
three games after that. Played two games, then missed three, and then came back and played the rest of the season. Jason Huntley, it's almost 50-50. We said he goes. I think he goes. But, I, you know, we talked about when he did come back, you know, his his prowess on special teams also as a returner. Right. He's speed, straight speed, but is, is it enough to keep him on the squad? No. Anytime you're one-dimensional like that, I don't think he stays. 91% say Boston Scott should stay. We said go. I'm just I said looking. go, yeah. Uh, 90.2% say go for Jalen Ragor. That means 9.8% want him to stay. <laughs> what are they thinking about? I mean, can we get nine? Can we get one of those people on the show, please? Because <laughs> I need to hear why. I really do. I'm curious. Quez Watkins, 96% say stay. So did we. You know, <laughs> see, now here's the troll factor. Because 0.5% think Devontae Smith should go. What? <laughs> Say it again? 0.5%. So 99.5. He didn't even get 100%. That's ridiculous, man. Arthega Whiteside, 93.1 say go. <laughs> go that, means, that means 6.9 say stay. Um, Hightower, go 79%. Yeah, Ward, I figured this would be the case. 68% want him to stay. Why? Well, because the fan base falls in love with a guy like that. You know, this scrappy fourth, fifth wide receiver guy. When he comes in, gets his opportunities, a lot of times he outshines the, the how he draft picks, and you root for guys like that. Yep. You know what yep. I mean? Yep. But I think, I think he could definitely get some interest somewhere else. I don't get – well – And they pay him more. I don't think so. No? I think he he's – if anything, if he doesn't stay here, I don't know if anybody picks him up and puts him on a squad. I mean, if you would talk to people during the season, mm-hmm. I don't know if they think he'd have been on the squad if he wasn't here. I don't think he'd been think he'd been in the NFL hmm. because when you're with a team that the receivers suck like ours did, and you're still not going out there making plays, it's like, all right, so why why have you around? You know, when you when right. you're when you're in a position where everybody sucks, you and you better look better than everybody else. Yeah. Now you that was interesting because he was another one of the quarterbacks that made the transition to wide out. Yeah. And you know, he looks pretty fluid. Yes, he does. In his you know, route running as opposed to the tight end. He's a bigger guy and pro- you know, obviously less athletic. Well, I you guess. gotta look at this also. He's been doing it for what, five years now? Uh probably, yeah. It's like his fifth year, so he yeah. he knows the position now. Mm-hmm. That's you know, true. He, he couldn't play quarterback anymore. Put it like that. Right. Ninety nine percent say Goddard should stay. That means one percent want him gone. That's that's interesting. That's just plain hating right there. That's what that is. Yeah, haters. Two point two percent want Jason Kelsey to go. Haters. <laughs> that's definitely haters. Oh my god. They don't like uh, mummers. That's why. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Lane Johnson, 1.4% say go. Why? Jordan Mylotta, 0.5% again says go. Ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Oh, yeah. I, I bet somebody just goes in here and just everybody's gone. Yep. That's, that's exactly <laughs> that's, that's what exactly happened. That's exactly what it is. Yep. Everybody's out. Yep. Uh, what's another one? They just want to blow the whole team up. Everybody gone. They just hit click. Go on, go on, go on, go on, right. go on, all the way down. Sixty-four percent want your boy Coyote out of here. See, they don't know football. No, they don't. <laughs> now, Andre Dillard, fifty-seven percent want him gone. We had Why? him staying. I don't know. I guess you know. I'm, I would be thinking about going too. Like if Howie could flip him. Well, that's for a, a definite for a possibility. High pick. He probably could. I, I would I would go so far as to say you can get a first or second round pick for Jordan Malata. Mm-hmm. That's how hard it is to find quality left tackles in the league. No, you're talking about Dillard, not I mean, Malata. Dillard, Dillard, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, not Malata, yeah. But Dillard, I mean, Dillard. right? Yeah, you could that, get you could you could flip a one or a two for for Dillard. Mm-hmm. So I mean, the the chance of him being on this team next year, I say it's high because. He's gonna. They're gonna want a king's ransom for him, and they right. might get it. Right. 
They just might get it. Now, this is interesting. 34.8% want uh, Fletcher Cox out of here. That's not. That's pretty I, high. I thought I, I would thought it been higher. You think? Yeah, man. Fletcher didn't do himself any favors this year. Um, everybody thought that he should have had a more dominant um, dominant year. Yeah, I mean, I what, agree. he had four sacks, five sacks? This year, let me just look yeah, up. So exactly. I, think, I think it was. I think you might have that right. Four or five. Um, Derek Barnett, eighty-four point eight percent want him gone. That means fifteen point two want him back. Why? I don't know. Dallas fans says the stream. They might be right there too. <laughs> Dallas fans check in and say, "You suck. You suck." You suck. Right. 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 That's exactly All right. right. We're gonna take a short time out. We got to get that Lombo uh, video up. It's not very long, and we still got the uh, Golden Corral uh, chair throwing fight. Hold on. Uh, Fletcher Cox that? had three point five sacks. That's it. <laughs> wow. Now, is that his low? Of course. For like, because I, I what would he, what would he have his rookie year? Oh, the same thing. He tied. Okay. No, 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 no. He didn't. No, he didn't. It um in 2013, he had three sacks. Mm. So look at this. He got drafted 2012. He had 5.5, then three sacks in 2013, 14 four sacks, 16. I mean, 15. He had uh 9.5. Yeah. 16. He had 6.5. 17. 5.5. 18 is when he broke the double digits. The only time he's had double digit sacks is in 2018. And that was that was the contract yeah. year. Yeah. He had 10.5. Then that 2019, was the 3.5. After the Super Bowl. Right. He's had two years with 3.5 sacks. 19, mm-hmm. he had 2.5. 2020, he had 6.5. And 2021, 3.5. Hmm. He, wow. I, this is kind of damning right here, man. I, I would have thought he did. You know, when we look at Fletcher Cox, we look at him as a dominant defensive interior guy. Well, because he's being paid like that. Right. And yeah. I mean, he averages. And he, he was a first round pick. What was he, the 12th overall, I think? Yeah, 13. Yeah, 12 or 13. Yeah. Yeah. That's ridiculous, man. Yeah. All right. Short time out. We'll be back with more.